I'm Nano Nomaru, 28 years old. I met my husband Vyuta at work and got married half a year ago. But we don't live together. Just after we got married, Vyuta was transferred to the countryside. But it was only for a year and I had my job, so we moved alone. We saw each other about once a month, but because his skills at cooking were devastating, I would make him some stuff, freeze it, and send it to him. The long-distance relationship was going fairly well, but some strange stuff started to happen around me. Huh? I feel like the food in the fridge is vanishing again. It's only a tiny amount, but there were times when the food I thought was in the fridge was gone and... Did I put plates here? Strange things started happening around me. But they were very subtle things, so I thought it was just me imagining things, and I didn't think much about it. But one day, I found out what was going on. I had a business trip and planned to stay out for one night, so I left the house with my suitcase. But the business trip was rescheduled due to the client's convenience. There was nothing I could do about it, so I dragged my suitcase back to my house. I'm home. What? Who are these? Of course they aren't mine. Does that mean... There's a burglar? Oh, for God's sake. Who is it? What a crazy burglar. But the person who came out of the living room was a familiar face. Rena? Nano? The pumps belong to Rena, Ryuta's sister. What are you doing in my house? What are you doing here? I thought you weren't coming home today. How do you know? Ryuta told me. He told me you weren't here today. That's why I came. Hold it there. I haven't heard anything about this. Ryuta said I could stay. This place is pretty close to the city, right? It takes time to go back to my house after drinking in the city. Plus, it's dangerous when I'm drunk. That's why I've been using this place when you're not here. I then remembered the strange things happening around me lately. The way you say it, you've been here multiple times, haven't you? Yeah. Do you have a problem? Ryuta said it was okay, so I'm allowed to be here. Of course I have a problem with it. You've been eating things from the fridge, haven't you? And, first of all, I haven't heard anything from Ryuta. Oh, will you please shut it? I bet Ryuta didn't tell you because he knew you'd make a huge fuss about it, like you're doing now. You're the one staying here without my permission. Where is your apology? <laughs> Why do I have to apologize to my brother's wife? Then get out. I'm back. Are you insane? Are you telling me you're throwing a drunk hot girl like me out into the streets at night? What are you going to do if I get sexually assaulted? I have permission from Yuta saying I'm allowed to use it. This house is mine for tonight. If you're unhappy with it, why don't you leave? Hey, stop it. Please open the door. Are you out of your mind? It's all because you tried to kick me out. Why don't you sleep in the park or something? You're the one saying that girls can't walk alone at night on the streets. That only goes for me. No one is going to try to rape a girl with breasts as flat as a cutting board, so don't worry about it. Well, your brother married the woman with these breasts. I literally don't understand why Ryuta chose this girl who's like a wall to be his wife. This bitch. I didn't marry Ryuta because I liked you. Ryuta, you never told me your sister was going to use our apartment. What? Aren't you on a business trip? We had to reschedule due to our client, so I came back home. And then your sister was there like it was her house, and she freaking locked me out. Ah, shit. This is nuts. She's saying that she has the right to stay there because you gave her permission. Can't you say something to her? But I mean, I don't mind her staying. I didn't want to tell you because I knew you'd make a fuss about it. Why did your business trip have to be rescheduled? Wait, what? I bet you made my sister mad. No one can do anything once she's mad, so just give up and find somewhere to stay. You were planning to stay out anyway, so, um... Why the hell do I have to stay out when my house is right in front of me? But it's dangerous to let my sister out all alone at night. What about me? Are you wearing a skirt today? I'm wearing pants today. Then you should be fine. What's that supposed to mean? What a rude sibling. Don't get mad, she's your family. Even if we're family, you shouldn't forget manners. And we aren't even that close. Okay, okay. Now that I know, I won't let you do what you like. Tell your sister to not come anymore, okay? I thought I told him off pretty harshly that day. But when I went home several days later... 
I'm... <coughs> What's going on? Is it a fire? I immediately called 911 for fire service. The fire engine arrived, and they examined the scene, and... This isn't the smoke of fire. What? This is the source. The firefighter showed me a... a fogger machine? The ultimate weapon to kill insects? I waited for the smoke to wear off and went into the house. I found it in the living room, bedroom, literally everywhere. And the bed isn't covered or anything, and the closet is wide open. What an idiot would fill the room with toxic gas like this? It's a gas to kill insects, so of course it contains substances that are harmful to humans too. That's why you need to prepare thoroughly when you use these sort of things. This is nothing but harassment. There is only one person I could think of who would do this. Rena, you used a fogging machine at my place, didn't you? It was hilarious when you called the fire service. <laughs> you saw? I needed to check whether I was able to get rid of the pests. Are you referring to me? Who else is there? You're an annoying insect that disrupts me when I'm feeling good after having drinks. Because of what you did, I can't use the mattress anymore, and my clothes have been damaged. What are you going to do about it? I don't give a shit. I was helping you by removing pests. And of course I have Ruta's permission. Is that literally the only excuse you can think of? This is my home as well. Can you please not do things without my permission? I'm going to do anything I please as long as Ryuta says it's okay. If you don't like it, why don't you get divorced? Ryuta can get girls way better than you. All right, the game is on. As I was getting fired up, I got a message that fired me up even more. Hey, Nano, did you make my sister mad again? Who in the world wouldn't get mad at having their room filled with toxic gas? My sister did that to help so that you wouldn't worry about bugs at home. Shouldn't you be thankful? Oh, all right. So you're going to defend your sister then? Don't act like you're the victim. You won't be able to maintain a good marriage if you're like that. Yeah. What's with the yeah? I think she'll forgive you if you apologize, so you should go to her as soon as possible. My husband kept ignoring my opinion, so I couldn't keep up with this any longer. I decided to take revenge on them. I knew that my sister-in-law would come to my place no matter what I say, so I'll get them back hard then. I started the preparation to get revenge on both my husband and my sister-in-law. Honestly, I didn't want her to ever come back. But right now, I just can't wait for her to come. I told my husband some fake information saying I'll be gone on a long business trip again. Set a camera in my living room and everything was ready. Let me show her what getting rid of insects really looks like. That day, I took a day off and pretended to go on a business trip. I waited at a cafe near my house for her to come right into the trap. What? The wine I got for my client! I was saving it! Did for you to tell her about it just because he doesn't drink wine? Exactly how selfish can this bitch get? But if she's going to drink, that means she'll open the cabinets to get a glass. Just you wait and see. <laughs> that loser wife! Whoa! What the- ah, Uggs! Ah. Yes, knockout. I recorded the whole scene and sent it to her little brother. What the hell have you done? Why is my sister on the floor? Go and help her! You're the one that told her she can use it because I was away. But this looks really bad. Are these bugs? Toys. I bought them for Halloween. But they accidentally came out when your sister opened the cabinet. And I guess she fainted. You guess? You did this on purpose, didn't you? I don't know what you're talking about. Are you kidding? Go home right now and help her. Otherwise, I'm divorcing you. I'm fine with getting a divorce. What? I was going to do that anyways, and I've already terminated the contract for the place. I need to move out within a month, so I'll send all your things to you. Oh, but all your favorites have been damaged thanks to the toxic gas your sister filled the room with, so I'll throw them away. Hold on. All my clothes have been damaged? I told you. Your sister did it without asking. And the mattress and my clothes were all damaged because of that. What about my expensive coat? I told you everything. You've got to be joking. You might be able to wear it if you have it cleaned, but I don't know how much that will cost you. Wait, Nano, that's not what my sister was telling me. 
Oh, and I borrowed your house for a bit. What? You did? No, my parents. What the hell do you think you're doing? You lent my house to your sister without asking me, so surely you don't mind me doing the same, right? Don't worry, it was only for a little bit during the day. What did you do? Not much. You know I lent you some of the old appliances that my parents coincidentally had when you moved for your job? I had them collect everything because you were getting a divorce. Are you joking? The fridge and the washing machine? And the portable vacuum cleaner too. How am I supposed to survive without them? Why don't you ask your precious sister for help? Well, she's on the floor right now though. You've been saying things about getting a divorce, but you're not serious, right? It hasn't even been a year since we got married. I know, right? I wish I'd known that you were such a jerk. Then I wouldn't have to get a divorce. But I'm lucky I didn't have a child yet. Wait, Nano, I'm sorry. My sister tricked me. None of this would have happened if I'd known the truth. Who's the idiot who didn't listen to what I said and told me to apologize to your sister, eh? I'm sorry, but I've made up my mind. You can make a fuss if you want, but I'm not changing my mind. Try stopping me if you think you can. Nano, let's talk. Yeah, I can't survive without you. I'm not here just to cook for you. I left my sister-in-law, who was still on the floor foaming in her mouth, and went back to my parents' home. My parents had already come home after collecting the stuff from my husband's house. We ate all the food you sent him. His room was filthy. He's going to be living in a garbage house soon enough. The two of them were shocked at the state of his house. Soon after that, I got a lawyer and divorced my husband. My mother-in-law found out and called me to apologize. But I told her I have no intention to get back together. But then she said, I'm not going to say anything like that. I'm so sorry that my children gave you so much trouble. She was furious with her son and daughter and deeply apologized for their behavior. She even tried to give me $50,000 as compensation. I can't take this. You didn't do anything wrong. I'll make them pay me back, so please take it. She insisted that I take it, so I received the envelope. The two of them were told off by their parents so badly that Rena, who was still living with her parents, was kicked out of the house so that she could find out for herself how hard it is to live on her own. She never paid her parents and used all of her money on herself, so she was struggling with her new life already. But the worst bit for her is that she gets scared that every time she opens the cabinet, some bugs are going to crawl out. Ryuta, on the other hand, didn't have any more cooking support from me, and his parents wouldn't help him either. He ended up eating out, which cost him a lot of money, and then transferred to the convenience store food. He started to gain weight and became unhealthier by the day. In addition, because I told the company about the divorce and how it happened, everyone started avoiding him which made him mentally ill and couldn't continue working. I have successfully taken revenge on both of them.